gonna charge it to god i've trademarked that by the way so sephora zoda came up with that one okay thank you hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl sephora zola and i am back with another youtube video stop right there thank you very much i need somebody with a little bit of touch wait what's the thing you always in a rush gotta subscribe to sephora zola or else um that was quite threatening sorry about that guys make sure you guys like comment and make sure you guys subscribe to 2000 subscribers because it should have been done already but you know what don't play with it don't play with it don't play i don't know celebrities sense. or people in the public eye that have a relationship with god and that are vocal about their relationship with god controversial celebrities if anything celebrities that have too much to say sometimes can't rest. um love his music though love him hope you guys enjoy this video so the first celebrity that i'm going to speak about is kanye west kanye west is a 45 year old producer and rapper okay i'm here to condone some of the reckless things that kanye west has said i have loved kanye's gospel album for from time my personal favorites has been god is or jesus is lord everything that i have praise the lord one thing that i do love about kanye is the way he's so vocal about his relationship with god just his success story i think inspirational to probably so many producers rappers whatever it may be highlighted before in his kanye west documentary is without god's blessings he would never be in the position that he's in now in order to succeed in this life you need god right at the center related back to a scripture matthew 6 verse 33 which is the most popular scripture seek first the kingdom of god and all else shall be added unto you i think in other versions seek first the kingdom of god and all his goodness and righteousness shall be added unto you something along those lines this is the key and to a winner's mindset he understands that with god by his side there's no way for him to lose really if god is for you who can be against you as it says in romans romans verse i know the scripture i know the scripture i know the scripture i know the scripture Kanye West also exhibits crazy faith. He's got a lot of creativity within him that accentuates through his music. And also one of my goals at some point in my life is to go to an African-American church so I can really praise God. Guys, take me to New Orleans so I can really praise the lord over there because i know they'd be doing it right celebrity connections to just come and sing in um his i don't know if it's his church i'm not too sure but to just come and sing like i've seen videos on tiktok around of things that are just not okay I think he just needs prayer above all like genuinely above all the only thing that we can do for him is either hurting or the breakdown or or is going through a lot the best thing that you can do for someone is pray for them like kanye west shouldn't be exempt of that like even though he's made a plethora of mistakes um we all have Krishan Rock and her Krishan 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 Rock and her relationship with God. And if you don't know who that is, is titled on Google as an artist, an American artist or reality TV star. Her crazy in love series with herself and Blueface and their toxic relationship, and basically them publicizing their to toxic relationship is like always coming up on my FYP. People are, are heavily concerned about this relationship, but I'm not here to talk about the toxicity of that relationship. I'm here to talk about her relationship with God on the podcast of B Simone and Megan Ashley's podcast. And she was just being so transparent and being so open about God. She's another person that also doesn't look like your poster Christian girl. God doesn't choose perfection. Yes, God does not choose perfection, guys. Like even in scripture, we see God choosing the prostitutes, the murderers, the, the people that have done a madness, yeah, in order to, to change people's hearts, in order to be a voice for God and to be used by Christ. I've even been around people where people have made certain comments and they've said, Oh, well, but I'm not I'm not good enough to to, to be a Christian. And I'm like hundred percent perfect. That's when I'll come to god firstly guys there's no such thing you're meant to come to god when you are broken you are meant to come to god when you are not in the best place the concept of christianity is is to save souls how are we going to save people that are already perfect is to come to him as you are that doesn't mean to go about disrespecting god or taking god for idiot yeah because you're not going to do that you might fall into sin again but you can repent and you can just communicate with god and just really just get to know him and and see his kindness and all his goodness for which he does not do the most exemplary things 
that you know we christians should be doing We're trying to say that yeah let's just separate these these celebrities for now and just look at their relationship with god please let's just turn all vision towards that fact that you can come with all your imperfections all the all the things that you fear to show other people you can take that to god talking about her first word as a baby as a child and she basically said that her first word was hallelujah her upbringing may have may have not been perfect she's only 22 my guy she's only 22 she is young we're just in the midst of it we're just in the midst of her growing up we're saying growing up like i'm a flipping adult i'm 20 i'm even younger than her but yeah, we're just like seeing it all unravel. But her testimony will be great one day. She's another controversial celebrity. But relationship with God is truly inspiring. Is the actor Letitia Wright, who is 29 years old. And she's from London. I think she's from South. You know that I'm going to look up to her because she's an actor. She's black. She's young. She's a Christian. Yesterday, I was watching her testimony back for this video because I wanted to just know more about her relationship with God. And I started crying. There were so many things that were said in her testimony that were so relatable. So Letitia Wright said there was a period of her life where acting was her God. Seen a pattern in my life where I've tried to put things above God. Things that you use too much of can become idols to you. As when you place other things above him, that's when you'll fumble. Probably people that are majorly successful in this life without God, people that could probably be t 10 times further if they did have God by their side. That just brings out the scripture, Ephesians 3 verse 20. With God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or imagine. I like that version. It's Ephesians 3 is 20 is also said with god's power working in us god can do exceedingly abundantly above all things was comparing herself to other people i think she mentioned she would be always be so fixated on the, the dream of acting where it doesn't give you that fulfillment that you need and constantly playing someone that you're not you will never really know who you truly are at first she was in denial she was very in denial she didn't want to accept god she wasn't even trying to hear out this god thing like people would come to her and like oh have you heard about jesus and you know them people on the street that are like do you know that jesus is your savior brushed she brushed it every time i'm good i'm good when in reality no she wasn't good she was hurting inside she was in her room and she was in the dark and she was very very deeply upset her friend called her her friend being Malachi Kirby, okay, one of my faves who played Quinta Kinte in Root. If you know about Roots yet, yeah, but the 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 most recent version, what? Quinta Kinte. Malachi Kirby called her and everything okay, essentially. Which this is how you know God's timing is the most perfect time. And he called her and she basically started bawling. And he was basically just like, Do you know about God? It was just like, No, I don't want to hear it. But he was just like, Do you know what? I've been in low places and do you know what's helped me every single time it's been god he shared matthew 6 verse 33 with letitia Wright. after that um scenario she said that obviously her life changed for the better as we see her now we see her publicly public outpour for god a public outcry for god that we see from her all the time a lot of people in this life have experienced church hurt a lot of people in this life don't know god or haven't even heard of god or are thinking what are the benefits of a relationship with god but there are so many benefits guys not just like cheeky little benefits like you know oh my gosh little perks no you'll get transformational joy transformational happiness tra transformational miracles transformational skills trans just everything will transform when you come to christ raji p henson had said in an interview that i don't want to strive to be the greatest because that would be serving someone else god is the greatest she doesn't want to strive for greatness which is crazy because it's like sephora what are you talking about you don't want to strive for greatness she don't want to strive strive for things of this world romans 12 verse 2 do not conform by the ways of this world but be renewed within with a new way of thinking and then you'll be able to experience what is great um and god's goodness and god's blessings right you doesn't want to strive for that one great thing because once you get it you always want more as human beings we are never satisfied you doesn't want to strive for greatness god is the greatest He's on that level, guys. I don't think you guys are day pin it, bruv. I want that, personally. I'm, I'm, my skin look, be, be looking better. I'd be happier when I'm in touch with God. Everything just be, look, you know, rainbows and sunshine. Don't get twisted, though. There will still be trials and tribulations because God does not remove all these things from your life. He just helps you endure it. I've done it in the past. I'm not gonna lie. Try to search for happiness or even try to find happiness in certain things. You'll never be satisfied with things of this world because it comes, it goes, it's it's unreliable. It's whereas God, God is is never never changing, everlasting, and He's got some reckless love for us. That wow, God genuinely will do anything for me. He will literally get nailed to that cross over and over again, even though I literally sin against Him probably every day that that type of love is 
unexplainable that type of love is just crazy it's more than unconditional another celebrity that i wanted to mention quickly was china mclean essentially i love when she talks about god on tiktok she addresses faith all the time she's bold and confident and loud with her relationship with god her just basically talking about the entertainment industry and but they don't want you to access his glory and his is his happiness because it's much easier for the people in the entertainment industry to benefit off of sadness to benefit off of pain to benefit off of depression it's not as much promotion of god because they don't want you to know his goodness and his greatness like, celebrity that i'm going to address is justin bieber justin bieber went through a lot of errors he went through light skin justin era he went through a swift swift my hair era he's i would say he has been controversial at times as well just but the one thing I love now is where celebrities develop a relationship with God they implement that into their career when I was working at um, Hollister about eh, I'm 20 now so I was working at Hollister two years ago oh my god I'm getting old oh anyways my roaring 20s has just begun so technically life has just begun for me i heard a song and i remember just hearing a song and then i heard a prayer at the end of the song and i was like what the heck is going on it sounded like justin bieber and i was like okay when i go home i need to find that song like justin kind of recalling his journey recalling the fact that when he was 17 justin had it all but he still felt like an empty can quitting from his song that didn't fulfill him that's very telling of life all the time like we look for all these things to fulfill us but we cannot be filled without can't be filled without god at the center we can't be filled without god in our heart read out um the prayer that he prayed at the end of the song i literally can't say justin bieber has prayed for me in this life yeah it's not easy growing up yeah that wasn't easy because at 17 i had a milli i will be reading out the prayer that justin bieber prays or says at the end of his song i pray for every single person listening to this song right now i pray for peace i pray for joy i pray for confidence i pray for reassurance i thank you so much for the person listening to this right now i pray that you would bless them bless their mind bless their finances bless their family bless their sons bless their daughters bless their moms bless their dads bless their grandparents God, I just pray for an over overwhelming sense of your presence in their home right now. An overwhelming sense of your peace that says everything is going to be all right in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm not even playing around, guys. I remember hearing that at work and I just said, huh? You know in the movie scenes where you're just like, what? And I was so moved. I think I actually recommend that you guys listen to it. This is my favorite era. This is my favorite era of Justin, okay? Forget light skin Justin, yeah? Where he was uh, talking about, if I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Okay, this is the Justin that we love to see. Okay, from a million miles away. Just, he's blessing my finances. The way celebrities can use their influence and use their power to represent Christ, to speak about Christ, really just use forms of art to bring glory to god is just a beautiful thing my life is going to be a testimony your life will be a testimony the person watching this your life is going to be phenomenal and when it becomes phenomenal don't forget god along the way do not forget god when you get what you have prayed for i did that yeah you see me smiling god did that um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video yeah if you have a platform if you're an influencer and you feel a calling upon you to speak about god do it don't hesitate find out what god wants you to do whether that is just having two two conversations with people on the street about god or whether that's coming onto a stage and being like i love god do it because let me know if you want some more christian content because please also get me to 2000 subscribers make sure you guys like comment subscribe and check out all my other content. bye guys